Hello guys, welcome to p 9 h Drew here with another episode of the Brighton Career Mode. Here we are in our first game of the episode against Man City. Please do like and subscribe as we are on the road to 1k subscribers. And now we do kick off and now Man City do have a corner kick. Sterling crosses it in. Bodri picks the ball up. And Gundogan shoots just wide but it is a penalty before that. And the ref has given a penalty for Man City Ben White with the tackle on Gundogan, which is deemed a foul. And now Kevin De Bruyne will take the penalty. And what a penalty it is. Wizards pass, Roberto Sanchez. And Man City are winning 1-0 in this clash. Now Man City on the attack once again in the 22nd minute. What can they do? A brilliant cross to Kevin De Bruyne who is found by himself with loads to space and just volleys it into the back of the net. Kevin De Bruyne with two goals in quick succession. This, the defenders have left such open spaces and Kevin De Bruyne just walks in there and shoots. And now Man City on the attack once again and Kruger with the third goal and it's 3-0 in the first half an hour. Man City are absolutely dominating us. Pushing us from side to side. And they're getting the goals. Now Man City on the attack once again in the 38th minute. They do here. Kruger through on goal. Kruger chips. And Kruger does get the goal. And it's 4-0 to Manchester City. Before the break. An absolute domination. Domination and demolition job against us by Man City. Who have played impeccable. They've made no mistakes. We've tried to pressure him. But they just keep finding a way out and scoring goals. Now we do win the ball here in the 78th. Ninth minute and in the 80th minute Malpe gets the ball in the box with space and he puts it puts it through Anderson and it's a goal. 4-1 the game match finishes and now we're in our next game against West Ham at the Olympic Stadium. And you can see here there's bubbles when you play against West Ham which is kind of annoying. But it is a nice touch to the game. It makes it feel more authentic. And now here we are on the attack with Mopé. Mopé loses the ball. Fashnak just hits it first time. What a powerful strike that is. Randolph can do nothing about it. And it's 1-0 at the Olympic Stadium. In the 14th minute. Of the clash. Mopé is tackled. And the ball drops to Fashnak. Who just hits it first time. As he was running into the box. What a hit. By our talisman. Ben Moyes isn't happy with that. And now we're on the attack once again. Just before the break. Pashnacht. Keeps the ball. Gives it to Marpe. Who's in the middle. Marpe smashes it. And what a goal that is. From outside the box. Marpe absolutely smashes that. Into the back of the net. And I think he hits the post. Before it goes in. And what a hit that is. It curls outside the foot shot. Brilliant from Mopé. And now we're in the attack in the second half. Massa push three on goal. And what a play that was from our team. The passing was immaculate. It was perfection from our lads. And it's 3-0 against West Ham. After Man City destroyed us. It seems like we are out on a quest to destroy West Ham. Just perfectly weighted ball from more paid to Massapust. And we do win 3-0 against West Ham United. Let's get into our next game straight away. And here you can see some of our Youth Academy talents we are signing to the Youth Academy. They're not Youth Academy talents, they're our Youth Scouts. And as you can see, we are signing some. And here is our Youth Academy. And here you can see me setting them some growth um growth patterns growth uh, play styles yeah play styles for them i guess is the is the way you would say 
And now we will get into our final game of the episode. But before that, let's look at the stats as we are in December, nearly midway through the season. And we will be similar against Fulham because I'm trying. It is December. The fixtures are congested. And because I do the mistake of playing our first team against Fulham, our final match against Chelsea is played by our second team, which means it will be a difficult clash as if it wasn't already. Chelsea start on the front foot, coming through on goal with Kovacic, who wins a free kick from right on the right on the 25 20 yard box. Marcus Alonso will take it. And it's a goal, 1-0 to Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. Marcus Alonso with a brilliant free kick. Poor defender once again to concede the free kick. And we are punished from the free kick. Now Chelsea attacking once again. Christensen, the centre-back, is up there. I don't know what he's doing there. Kovacic is in the box, gives it to Timo. And Timo smashes it. And at the end of it... The power on the shot was too much for Christian Walton to handle as he does get a foot to it, but the ball still goes through. 2-0 to Chelsea. And now one attack after the break. What can Moda do? Jakob Moda. Jakob Moda turns around and what a hit that is by Jakob Moda, the Polish centre defensive half. Brilliant for him. He is the captain in this game, a captain's contribution here. By Jakub Moda. A fantastic strike by him. Brilliant skill to get past his defenders as well. And then smashes it past Kepa Aris Belaga. And it's 2 1. We're back in this game. And now Molpe. And now Alzetti turns his man. And it's 2 2. Alzetti and Jakub Moda, the reserve midfielders, coming in. When they're most needed and putting on a performance to question whether they should be in the first team. As they have played really well against a very strong Chelsea side. And it's 2-2 and the game looks to finish. 2-2 if Chelsea do not score here. Christian Walton stumbles the ball and we will clear it and the game does finish 2-2. Before we finish the episode let's just have a look at... At what our next games will be against Tottenham, Southampton and Aston Villa. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Do like, do subscribe and I'll catch you guys with another episode very soon. Goodbye. Don't forget to like and subscribe also. <laughs> Goodbye.